back out to Fred Cunningham and Todd Summers. And uh, they have more on the reaction after the game. Well, Pete, you know, at halftime when it's 31-16, I'm thinking if Alabama was up 31-16, say, man, Clemson, I just, it's not going to be their night. At 31-16, Clemson, because it's Alabama, I still was like, man, Clemson's in a good spot, and maybe we have to start changing our thinking on that, or at least my thinking. Yeah, and then you see in the second half, and you see maybe a, a desperate Nick Saban. He has a fake field goal. They go for it on fourth down on six different occasions. They got it on three of them, but that's not Nick Saban football. Now, after the game, we had a chance to catch up with some Tiger players. Needless to say, they were pretty happy. First one you're going to hear from is Christian Wilkins. you got to love this guy. Let's hear what he has to say. Christian, go 15 and 0. Do you feel like you're in the conversation for the best college football team of all time? Well, I mean, you said it. We're the first team to go 15 and 0, and I'll leave that up to you. I don't want to disrespect any of the other great teams before, but we, when you're the first to do something, I mean, I, I feel like you, you know, earn a little uh, respect, a little attention. People don't probably won't want to believe it just because we're funky old tigers. We're just some funky raggedy tigers uh, from Clemson, and this isn't supposed to be us. We're not supposed to be here. You want to put an exclamation point, the legacy that you want to leave behind as a team, regardless of if you're trying to do something for the first time, but we wanted to be the best ever. So that was kind of what made it different, man. This team wanted to be, you know, to find themselves not just for Clemson, but just for the history of college football. I'm going to have a lot of bragging rights. I'm going to have a lot of bragging rights, but I, I, I can't, I'm not going to use it too much because I, I, know, I know I'm still a, a regular person back home. Clemson won a national championship two years ago. You weren't on this team. What does it mean to be a part of your first national championship? Uh, just a real feeling, man. I, dream, I dreamt of this, and man, just it, it, it's here. And I mean, just, just can't really tell you what it. It, it just means a lot. It's just crazy. Travis Etienne had three rushing touchdowns in this football game, and then it kind of opened up the rest of the offense because then you see. T. Higgins and Justin Ross making plays down the field, and it all adds up as a collective unit. It's a special group of guys. Nobody really has the me first mentality. Yeah. They realize that if Travis Etienne is having success, that helps Justin Ross have success. That helps T. Higgins have success. That helps Trevor Lawrence have success. Yeah. When it's about the team, you're going to have some success. Yeah, they especially in the passing department, they spread it around to just about everybody gets involved. Todd and Pete, I've got a radical idea because of the nature of the margin of victory tonight. Maybe they need to go to an eight-team playoff so we can have better championship games. <laughs> uh, I think yeah. they could go to a two-team playoff. <laughs> two-team playoff. <laughs> That's a very good point, Fred. By the way, the committee met today, and then the uh, the head of the committee for the college ball playoff put out a, a memo basically saying in no uncertain terms, we're not expanding anytime soon to kind of quell all the chatter yeah. we heard mm -hmm. lately. Fair Thanks enough. a lot, guys. All right, thank you, guys. And Pete,